Thank you for uh, having me. I wanted to thank you, uh, actually, to have me again for the second day. I want to thank the SO Systems, SolidWorks as well. Um, I'm going to try to do this a little bit faster uh, because uh, I'd love to have the opportunity to have a little bit of discourse and dialogue and have you guys ask, ask some questions prior to lunch. I'm, I'm sure everyone was waiting for that. So I'm just going to go through the product really quickly. Yesterday I spoke a little bit more about um, our responsibility of design globally. What does that mean? Uh, how we have to think about humanity in general, uh, the consumer and things like that. Today, I just want to go through a little bit more of a personal process, which I think uh, may be a little bit of a different angle. Um, so we're a technology platform based in California, um, and we've had the opportunity to invent a product that is quite unique worldwide. It's, it combines a multitude of different technologies. Uh, this is the first product, although we are primarily in robotics and technology. Sunflower has made a lot of waves around the world. I'll show you a little video. This will summarize what it does. I've asked my, my team to cut the, the music off of uh, the videos, but uh, most of this comes with music. Uh, it is, in a sense, uh, basically is the world's first autonomous intelligent parasol that tracks the sun, takes the energy, converts it into uh, automation, and through that, it interacts with the user in a completely new way. It is the hub outdoors, and so our focus was Instead of focusing on the interior, we looked at there was a huge gap missing in the exterior in terms of IoT and connectivity. So we basically took that chance over the last six, seven years to produce a robot for the first time that will exist outdoors. These are the key features. Um, Sunflower has too much to discuss in terms of a full machine learning robot. Uh, we'll have other products that are simpler. Um, this will show you a little bit of the key features. Uh, design is very important to us. And we were blessed to have the International Design Award on, on Sunflower. Uh, you were mentioning uh, earlier about the, the form and how important it is, the emotional attachment, uh, and what you called the crush. So I'm just going to go through it really quickly. <clears throat> so the camera captures images it can interface with your home security system. Uh, it's a completely voice-activated hub but it has a lot more technology than any one of these smart devices that you're looking at. And uh, no offense to anyone here is designing a smart device that goes in the interior that might be a thermostat even. This is basically like 15 thermostat technologies inside one product. We have to deal with the thermodynamic airflow. There's a lot of things we have to deal with. And it's been a huge challenge. So that's what I want to talk about from a designer standpoint as well as just literally, I'm going to show you some images of the relevance of the product in hospitality worldwide, what it can do. You can basically sit outside, control your entire ecosystem, um, as well as literally entertaining yourself, charging your devices outdoors. Okay, so the most important thing here is, uh, I mean, I think everyone knows that in today's world, We've always talked about, you know, so recently there's a huge trend in talking about how uh, technology is ena enabling certain things. It's obviously going at lightning speed. And technology today uh, allows, in my opinion, design to experience its first golden age. Uh, unlike painting and art, design hasn't really, in my opinion, of course it's gone through different periods, but today, the ability to combine a multitude of different, different experiences through technology, including smart materials, including mechatronics, including sensors, and what is available to industrial designers today has never been available before. Um, so we already know that. That's a paradigm. So what is left? What is left is the actual intention of the designer. So what is it that you're designing? And that's, that's the other thing. So we know the technology today allows us to build things that we never could imagine were possible. We can take sensors and pretty much put it into a table. That table can then start, if you want it, it can speak back to you, on and on. One of the reasons why I'm here today, and one of the things that I really appreciate about the SO uh, and SolidWorks is that even though I've been involved in utilizing the software which has enabled myself, my company, and my designers, my engineers, to be able to realize their visions, they have never asked me 
anything about what I wanted to present. And I want to mention, and I want to thank you for that. And you mentioned that today. Mm -hmm.